And if, if, if there hasn't been a black head coach, well, why not? I can, I can be that guy. When you're a Canadian athlete, to become an Olympian in track and field is a huge feat. To be a Canadian track and field athlete and then become an Olympic gold medalist, it's damn near impossible. But to be both of those things and then become the Canadian track and field head coach, it's unprecedented. And Athletics Canada head coach, Glenroy Gilbert, has accomplished all of those feats. We caught up with him in this Athletics Canada update. I've had a lot of talks with athletes. We actually did a panel here at CBC with some of the, the Athletics Canada athletes as far as uh, their experiences with racism. And a lot of people feel like we have a good in Canada. Like we don't have to deal with racism. Um, what are your thoughts when people say things like that? Well, I, I often think that when people make statements like that, clearly they're, they're not impacted by it or they haven't been impacted by it. Uh, certainly um, coming up as an athlete, I've dealt with it, I've dealt with it um, in coaching, I've dealt with it in all aspects. Uh, of my career, but what I tend to do is focus more on how can I transcend uh, what what seems to be some boundaries that that haven't been crossed by uh, a person of color. I, I don't want to I don't want to come out here and say that it, it 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 oh no Canada is different. Canada has its its racism, and I mean I think a lot of the athletes have spoken quite poignantly about it. Um, but I think now um, it's up to us now to to change to at least attempt to change the, the flow of a lot of this conversation and put the talk to action. Have there been talks about how Athletics Canada is gonna move forward as far as how they approach this message and how they portray it and how they react to it? Well, you know what I'll tell you, I, I haven't been on any direct talks around uh, anything in particular, but I gotta tell you, I can't imagine that there wouldn't be things that are you know in the works in terms of trying to get more um, visibility for minority athletes and, and just just in the whole system, even looking um, as far as like our board of directors, you know, having more visible minorities on that board of directors and making sure that the athletes, the coaches are well represented uh, in that um, in that environment. There's many sports that are predominantly black, uh, while upper management and people in higher positions aren't black. You know, I just spoke about your accomplishments before. Like, you're obviously well accomplished, well experienced, well rounded. Um, but for you to be in the position that you're in as the head coach of Athletics Canada, being a black man is rare. What kind of pressures come with that? Well, there, whether it was getting to the position or whether it was being in the position. In my thinking, I've always thought about, you know, you know, why not? Why not us? Why not? Uh, why not have a, a black coach? Why not have a black head coach? If it's a precedent setting <laughs> situation, so be it. But in my mind, when I was an athlete, I looked at our sport and I, I'm, I'm a microcosm of our sport. So I, I looked at our sport saying, well, you know, in Canada, we, we, we've seen one or two black coaches through the ranks, but how can we get how can we get a bit higher than that? How can we get to the head coaching position? How can we get to a, a uh, high performance director? How can we be in the leadership in the leadership role in our sport? I mean, at the end of the day, we're representing all athletes, white, black, it doesn't really matter where you're a head coach, not just for black athletes, you're a head coach for every single athlete on the Canadian team. And if, if, if there hasn't been a black head coach, well, why not? I can, I can be that guy. You know, there's social injustice and you know, brutality towards black people. Um, and you have a black head coach. All of a sudden when these things come up, all of a sudden people are looking at you like them or well, well, what do you think, what, do, what should we do good? How challenging, if it's been challenging, has that been to be in that position in times like this? You know, to be honest, it, it really hasn't been because I think our athletes have done such an amazing job of speaking their truth. Um, it's, it's really deflected from me in terms of having to speak out on, on any uh, particular issue. I can speak out on issues that deal directly with me, but I feel that the athletes certainly have done an amazing job of representing themselves. I'm proud of them. I think that uh, they, they have a platform that they can use to, to have their voices heard. And I think that, I think that uh, the fact that they're doing that is a good thing. I don't see it as something that is uh, negative or somehow uh, destructive to sport in any way. In fact, I think as as athletes and high profile athletes, I think it's 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 their duty in a way to speak out when they see injustice. Giving giving them the platform that's required to speak their truth, I think, is is really the starting point here. You know, like I said, I've dealt with it. I've dealt with it through my entire life. 
you know, I, I turned uh, 53 today and so I, I've dealt with it. So I know exactly what this is all about.